What's up everybody? Welcome to Muscle Lake Garage. Now in today's video, you're gonna see Pat tell the story of his uh, 79 Trans Am, along with a little bit of the blue Trans Am. I think that one's an 80. I never know the year of this kid's car. Just never know. I know everyone else's. It's not his. He's got two of them. Who's got two Trans Ams? And they're both pieces of garbage. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you for watching. brother only put $40 well, on? I don't know how much you're gonna take. Guys. Okay. Okay. What's going on guys? This is my 79 Trans Am. It's the second Trans Am I've owned in the last year. The other one is right here, as you can tell. It's falling apart, piece of junk. But I took the whole drivetrain from that car, put it in this car. In the last two months, I've had this car. And what's also pretty crazy about this car is our friend Nick with that 70 Monty He's always telling us to buy stuff. He's like, dude, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Yeah, so he made me buy this he made stupid him buy thing. It. And Pat didn't even want it, but we kind of forced him into it. Yeah, I just the bought it. It was up for 5500 or 56 55 I think. 5500 so we chewed him down to... What did I pay? 44 4400 I paid 44 And the guy it. kept the dash. There was a tan dash that went with it, but the guy was like, I'll do 44 if you let me keep the dash. So we're like, all right, that sounds like a deal. So we had him deliver it basically the following day. I yeah, Sunday. I think it was, no, yeah, Sunday. Yeah, so that blue car, what year is it? It's 80. It had this exact drivetrain, and what drivetrain is only, it? It's the only reason I bought that blue car is for this drivetrain. And what drivetrain is this? It's a 77 Pontiac 400, forward and choked out to a 468, eagle rotating assembly, 6X heads, comp cams, it's fully forged bottom end. It's backed by a 200R4 tranny, built for 800 horsepower. I had that one built. And then it's a 12 bolt rear end, no, 10 bolt rear end, um, with 370, Richmond 373 gears with a brand new posi unit in it. Thing yeah. rips. And it's not the fastest Pontiac here anymore. No, well, we'll motor, see. It's the only Pontiac motor at the shop. I think it'll still beat your car. I used to have a Pontiac motor in my GTO, but he used to smoke that thing, so. Yeah. Let's not talk too much anymore. <laughs> With that blue car, I think it's out to rock box. So we started taking it apart to put the whole drivetrain in this one. And I started getting a little confident in our abilities to pull it all night well, and we were, the rear out. We were drinking some uh, fun juice that yeah, night, too. Yeah, fun juice. And then um, we, we were mid-taking the rear out. And, and then, the entire uh, leaf spring ripped out of the body of the car. Yeah. So, so that was pretty fun. And we sadly realized that too late. And then the car was... Dead in the middle of the yeah. shop parking lot. Dead. So we had to pick it up with a forklift and put it in that spot where it's been for the past like month and a half so, on Jack Sands. No, that's like a month. Month, I guess. So now somebody's coming to buy it <clears throat> Sunday. And what are they doing? And it? they're taking the body off the frame and they have an old Jeep, I think it's an XJ, that has a rusted body but a mint frame. So they're taking the body off that frame, taking the body off the Trans Am frame, and putting the Trans Am body on a Jeep frame. And which is going to be pretty awesome, which is kind of like the so, same idea as that Camaro. Now once they're both done, we'll be driving it with that. 
Yeah. So it's a oh. friend of mine that's buying it, so you guys will definitely see the car when it's done. And then what are they were what are they supposed to do with this car before you bought it? They had bought it as a roller to do an LS swap in the car. They realized how much work it takes to do an LS swap in one of these cars and they'd abandoned the project and they put it back on Facebook. Yeah, we got it from about like like ten towns over. Um, it was like forty minutes away. It was like a forty, forty minute drive without a trailer or a load. But with a trailer and a load, it's so like a fifty two minute drive. You know, following the DOT laws and Not stuff. Not when like we're that. in a six five Detroit they saw. Yeah. That rig right there, which will show soon be selling it. So if any guys so want if to anyone buy wants it, a red there's a red 1995 65 Detroit diesel, extended can, six and a half foot bed, for eight grand, OBO, or if you have a 2018 Duramax, you want to trade flat out, no cash on top. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a, no, it's six five. It's six five. So, this car doesn't have a hood on it, it's slapped together, there's no hood, he has to put the T-top seals on. Which and the door seals, and put the whole interior back together. Yeah, so the T-tops aren't in. It's almost done. Hood still gotta go on. So here it is. It's basically like literally everything from that blue car is right in this one. He he um, painted the motor so it looks nicer. Actually, I'm surprised the paint even lasted that long. Well, it's only ran four times. But it still, it's gotten it's the, impressive. The poop beat out of it. But there's really nothing special to it. I keep telling I keep telling him to put electrical fans on it. I will. Clears up yet. some more room looks nicer sounds cool sounds like you know real race car but he got these on um, valve covers powder coated when they came out really nice they're nicer a lot nicer than your average valve cover here's the tree it's almost done just got to put carpet in it open uh, up the door how do you open up the door well we got to work on that too we got a zip tied i got the, the door. door handles i just haven't put them in yet so this interior, what seats? Are, these are the uh, actual transmissions. These are the actual right? transmissions. That yes. car had uh, Camaro seats, right? Yeah, I sold those. That car had Camaro seats in it, and then these are actually the Pontiac seats. Very nice seats, high-valued seats. A lot nicer than all of our seats. Actually, Pat uh, Nick's got really nice seats. Yeah, he's got a really nice interior yeah. in that car. Give it a little start. But the interior is mint. There's nothing that has to be done to this. The carpet's already in. The, the headline, the nice. headliner's in. What are you talking about, Being really? sarcastic, brother. Really? But, um, yeah, he's got to put the T-top seals in. He has them, which I haven't put them in yet. The door panel's got to go on. But this is probably one of the fastest drivetrain swaps we've done because it, 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 like, wasn't too meticulous. It wasn't too meticulous, so we basically just put it all together, got it running and driving, and now we, we just have to do some odds and ends. Um, what else you got going on with this rig, Pat? Any lug nuts missing? But he actually wants to take all these gold decals off and put all silver decals on. Everybody and their mom has a black Trans Am with gold decals, and I hate it. Yes, and as you can see, there is a lug nut missing. Well, I had to put my other wheels on. I have 8-inch wheels for it because these are the 7-inch wheels. I bought 8-inch wheels for it. Put the slicks on it. Put new studs in it. with the exhaust on this rig I bought an x-pipe kit off Jags or Summit something didn't uh didn't fit so now I got to custom fabricate an entire exhaust for this car so it's just straight pipes come out of the headers right now to super 44 mufflers and then just dumps but I have to custom fabricate an entire exhaust for it and put the regular Trans Am tips on the back of it so that sounds like a plan you know it has detailed and buffed when yes from a couple of guys across the street, but it's got the less scratches, the less dents. 
Every fender has the same color, which is rare for us because we usually don't have that. Um, all of our cars are mismatched. I mean, this car was all the same color, but I mean, it was all banged up, scratched up, and just, it's been through the ringer. But now this car right here, another train. So it's like pretty Swiss cheesed up, but what are you gonna do? This car's got zero rust uh, anywhere. But this car has has the cleanest body out of everyone's. Um, Pat wasn't too fond on the T-tops when he bought it, but he's grown to like it. Yeah, get his hair blown in the wind, That's right? pretty much it for right now with this car. Still got a long ways to go, but it's almost there, you know? Once it's all done, I'll be pretty happy with it. But right now, I mean, right now I'm pretty happy with it, but I just can't wait till it's done, and I don't gotta worry about it anymore. And then when both of ours are done, we'll see which Pontiac wins. Now the funny thing is, I got a Pontiac car, but a Chevy motor. Yeah, disgrace. Which is funny, because he probably still will win. And he put less work into his car, and a lot less time, which is upsetting, and he'll still win well, me. Well, I did it quick. He did it you quick. You took seven months. I, I did it in two months. I took seven months to rebuild my car. But what are you going to do? It's a fast car. But it's a Pontiac, that's the only thing. That's a no-no from where we're from. It's only Chevys. My friend... Yeah, you got a Pontiac. My friend Tear has a Ford, which you yeah, just Yeah, that, that's a big no-no. That's a no, different no. story. See, Pontiacs are acceptable around here. Because they're still GM. But when it comes to a Ford, that's why you see all these LS swap Fox bodies, because you know who's better. Chevy's better. But we'll deal with the Pontiac for now, because he's got the cleanest car out of all of us. But that was it for the end of the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there'll be a few more videos on everyone's cars, like Scarf's car, that orange, Boosted Camaro, the Ford, and Nick's Monty. That's also another long story on that car. So that was it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys later.